Hey everyone, in this video let's talk about how does Dropbox work on iPhone. Because of course, if you go ahead and install it on your device, you're going to be able to use it normally, like use it within your app. However, you can also integrate it into your files app or just use it separately. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. You're going to need to go to the App Store and load up Dropbox and make sure to have it installed on your iPhone. Then you're going to come back and open up the Dropbox and go through the installation process and make sure that you actually set up everything as it should be, just log in with your Google account, create an account or do whatever you need just to get to your files app. And now you can pretty much use it like you can, of course, upload files in here. It works pretty much like the Google Drive. It's, of course, a cloud storage, which you can access through apps. So that means that you can upload your files in here. You can organize them inside of the Dropbox app, create folders, move files in between and so on. So if this is enough for you, then definitely stay with it. But there is also a different approach to this. Because by default, we all have the Files app as a part of our iPhone, so it would definitely be a good idea to use it. So this is the Files app, and so inside of the Apple's Files app, you have access to all of your locations and files, mostly on your iPhone, so you can see all of the files in here, or you can go to your iCloud drive. There's also an option to uh, add a location. For example, you can go to connect to server and type in your a URL of the server where you want to connect to and get files this way. So some people may be tempted to drop here the dropbox.com and continue with it, but this is not the good approach because if you hit cancel and click on the dots again, tap on edit, here you can see that you can actually enable the Dropbox here. So I'm going to turn it on and that means that it's going to show up. I'm going to make it go to the top of the list. You can see that I have the documents in here as well as the Google Drive. So I can have all my file drives together in one files app on the iPhone. Anyways, hit done and now the Dropbox is here. So if I tap on it, I have access to the same files. You can see uh, the YouTube search and the same folders as I have here in the Dropbox app, but I also have them here in my files app. It's really simple because you can use it everything, all the files have access to every single thing just from one app. And now if I want to just grab one file from the Dropbox, it's like the welcome file. I can just move it around or come back and go to my iPhone and place it here. And you can see I can just move it between the Dropbox and the iPhone. So it's really simple. And now the welcome to Dropbox file is part of my iPhone. It's really simple. You can use drag and drop between all the locations and, and that's a very easy way to use it. So I would definitely advise you to do it this way. You can of course get the notifications from all of those apps. By the way, if you want to see how you can change the sound of your notifications on your iPhone, then definitely check out this video right here because it's not as clear or as simple as it may seem. So definitely check out this video right here and see you guys there.